A and AS level mathematics. Lesson 5. Some more algebra. And on this one we're going to be looking at solving quadratic equations by method of factorization, by method of completing the square and by method of using the quadratic formula. Also we need to look at something called the discriminant. So let's solve these two equations by factorization. Now if you factorize this term by removing the 4x and inside the bracket we'll have x minus 2 Appreciate this is saying that this multiplied by this equals 0. So either this is 0, or this is 0, or in fact both of them could be 0, giving you the two answers. Here we're going to factorise. We're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give me minus 24, but add together to give me minus 2. So if I put minus 6 there and plus 4 there, I think we'll find that that will do the job. And again, we're saying that either this equals 0 or this equals 0. Or in fact, both of them could equal 0. So we get our two answers, x equals 6, x equals minus 4. Some people miss this line out, which is fine. But I suggest it's a good idea, especially if the answers happen to be fractions. Now let's remind ourselves about factorising when we haven't got prime numbers because of the many, many combinations. So step one, we multiply together the 6 and the minus 24, which will give us minus 144. Step 2, we're looking for two numbers, let's call them A and B, that when you multiply them together, you get the minus 144. And when you add them, you get the minus 7. Now there's quite a few combinations here. Two numbers multiply together to give you 144. Well, that's 1 times 144, 2 times 72, 3 times 48, 4 times 36, 6 times 24. Now appreciate we are looking to find two numbers that not only multiply together to give me the 144, but have a difference of 7. 8 times 18, 144. 9 times 16. 144 and 9 and 16 have a difference of 7. So as long as we make the 9 the positive value and the 16 the negative value they multiply together to give me minus 144 and they add together to give me minus 7. Our step 3 is to take the equation and rewrite the minus 7x as plus 9x and minus 16x. Now we factorise these first two terms. We take 3x out. We'll be left with 2x plus 3. And now when we factorise, we must have 2x minus 3 there also. To do that, I'll need to factorise with taking out minus 8. Minus 8 out of the 16x. Minus 8 taken out of the minus 24. Which will then give that a plus. So, our factorisation is 3x minus 8 and 2x plus 3. Now the point that I've made earlier. If we write down these two brackets equal to 0, with this question especially, we're less likely to go wrong on the last step, because the answers are fractions. Let's look at this one. I need to add 8 to both sides, so I'll get 3x equals 8. 
divide both sides by 3 and I'll get x equals 8 over 3 which you can then rewrite as 2 and 2 thirds but I'm running out of space so I won't. Here I subtract 3 from both sides and divide both sides by 2 and again I'd write that as minus 1 and a half. Now if you miss this line out there's a good chance that you'll slip up doing this bit in your head. But that's your choice if you want to miss that line out. 